serve you today. There's a great spirit in this place. You may be seated. I'd like for our ushers to come and simply give you an opportunity to give and to tithe. This allows us to do all the ministry that God's called us to do. And He is so good to us. Father, we pray that you bless this time of worship. And the church said, Amen. Amen.
moment of Scripture finally had the Ark of the Covenant, the presence of Almighty God, coming back into the city of Jerusalem. And it hadn't even got there yet. But David said, I can see it in the distance. And I know it's on his way. And by the time it gets here, I'll be so
together like peanut butter and jelly. And the same spirit that resides in him resides in me. And he feels what I feel. And what I feel like is I'm about this close to him. Somebody's about this close to a breakthrough. You have wept, you have cried, you have knelt beside your bed, you've taken medication, you've read every self help book from a religious section you can get your hands on. You've gone to preacher after preacher after preacher looking for an impartation. You've gone from service to service looking for something. And what God said. What? Because your friend was somebody that's going to think about you. You've come too late for me to be embarrassed for worshiping my God. If your worry is that you're going to look like a fool for worshiping God, you need a double dose of the Holy Ghost.
Come on.
sons and daughters shall prophesy.
trying to structure the Holy Ghost. One of the worst things we ever did was try to structure our services. Now listen close. I believe that God does things in order. What we have failed to understand is that it's His order and not our order. Reconstructed the pattern and the template over and over until we have, in many places, we have literally built God out of our services. Yeah. We're determined around here to flow in the Spirit. Yes. To be led by the Spirit. Yes. I maybe you want to be led by the Spirit because He's going to take you to a better place. He's going to take you to a better place. I want us to say. We're going to continue to have church. Oh, hey. How many of you ever gone to the doctor and waited more than two hours? And I don't want to hear any complaint. Amen? I went somewhere to eat this week. Somebody took me out to eat for my birthday. We waited for 45 minutes and we didn't think anything about it. I'll stay here as long as I'll stay here longer. Yeah. I'll stay here as long as we need to stay. Yeah. Obey the word. As the word says that Jesus, God, says to us to come into me, I'll give you labor and heavy labor, and I will give you rest. Learn of me, tell me your God. We don't always understand it in all of our doing. We're not necessarily doing what He's called us to do. But in
go down here and we say this thing. This thing. It ain't over. It ain't over yet. Everybody say this service. This service. It ain't over. It ain't over yet. Ain't over yet. God bless you. You may be seated. We're gonna we're gonna be ministered to by others that have prayed and planned and sang. Once again, this is the one of the problems is we think once the Spirit of God has moved in the way we, we grab our purses. We run to the call. I'm not hurry this morning. I believe God wants to use some people to minister in song. And then I'm going to preach. And how long I'm going to preach, I'm not going to tell
Sister Amber, worshiping God back there. And Amber, I didn't recognize you. Honestly, I sat up here and I looked back there. And for a moment, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know who it was. I don't, I don't know when it happened. But I do know what happened. Transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yes. Let's let it continue to work.
and to share with the congregation what you shared with me and, and then lead us in prayer when you're ready. Have you ever 
never thought about the people that you come in contact with that you only get to make one time in your life. And as Christians, what do we say to them? What do we share them? And this is what God spoke to me. I'm just going to share it with me personally because I know me better than anybody. I'll stand before God one day. I'll give an account for my life. God knows the very hairs on my head. That's how much He loves me. And I thought about this a lot of times. What will He say when I stand before Him? One of two things. Enter in my good and faithful servant. Or depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. What is true love, guys? True love is to tell people the truth and share the plan of salvation with them. See, God's a gentleman. He'll never force us to do anything. He won't make you serve him. But all oh, the benefits to serve him. See, I thought about this morning as TJ was up here and he was ministering. 34 years ago, I was a young man that knew nothing about Pentecostal, nothing about the Holy Ghost, nothing about salvation. And I sit in the Pentecostal church for the first time in my life and felt the presence of the Holy Ghost. See, I tried everything the world had to offer. And Jesus has more. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 But I shared this story with you. How many, how many parents do we have in the house? How many parents do we have? We got children. So other than your relationship with God and your relationship with your wife, what's the most important thing?
The church said amen. Amen. I want the praise team. I want the praise team to help Charles and y'all come back up here. <laughs> Poor Charles, where you at? I saw you going down. I thought, Lord, I'm in trouble. I want y'all to come here. I want us, I want us to, before we go today, I want us to sing that song, Sister uh, Buckler, you were singing. I don't know, maybe it's a melody or medley. And we'll sing all of them. But I, I've been looking for it all morning to sing it. It says, I feel good. And I got to thinking about it. We're feeling pretty good. I'm telling you, this is better than going to the ER. Hey! This is better than getting a shot. I want you to stand with us. We're going to sing and we're going to be dismissed in a few minutes. I love this old song. I heard him sing. This morning I thought, my goodness, we got to sing that. I'm going to stand right here. Come on, put your hands together. Let's sing this.
said I was going to preach, but I changed my mind. And I can do that. I'm a, I'm a brother, Melvin Dawson. He would be on it. Be ready to dismiss us in prayer. I want everybody to hear me. On Easter Sunday, when? Easter Sunday. We go back in the sanctuary for the AM service. The next week, which I believe is the 11th, we will be in the sanctuary for the evening service. In other words, we're starting our Sunday evening services. Now, the youth service happens every Sunday evening as well. And uh, that's up to you which one you go in, but we're going we're gonna to have church. I don't believe this is a time to have less church. We need more church. Have we had church here this morning? Well, give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. You know what? I wouldn't go to a dead church. I keep looking till I found one that wasn't dead. Well, Dawson, I love you and respect you. If you'll dismiss us in prayer. Our gracious Father, we thank you again for your goodness, your mercy, your grace, your touch to the Holy Ghost today. Amen. Let us leave from this building determined to be a witness and to be a light to a lost world. For you commanded us to go into all the world and preach this gospel. Let us leave this building today led by your spirit full of your 